Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. And today we're going to continue our video series designed to educate and inform the public. So please subscribe to our channel. Today we're going to discuss health issues as it relates to a divorce. You know, sometimes one of the issues that comes up in the divorce is a scenario where one person is covered by the health insurance of the other party through their work. So let's just take a scenario where you've got a husband and wife, husband is working, has health insurance, it covers the wife who's a stay-at-home mom. What's going to happen when there's a divorce? Is she going to lose the coverage? You know, the, the policy often will allow a spouse to be covered, but an spouse may not be part of the policy. So what happens? Well, the COBRA rule allow for the continuation of health benefits of the other spouse, even in a divorce, for a period of up to three years. So this means that if the parties get divorced in this scenario that I laid out, wife can still continue to get coverage for another 36 months after the divorce. But here's the kicker. There's a premium to be paid. Now, when they were married, perhaps there was no premium to be paid, or maybe the premium was absorbed by the company as a benefit to their employee. But once they're divorced, there's probably going to be a premium to continue that coverage. And then the question becomes, who pays it? <clears throat> it can be negotiated that the wife gets the coverage, the wife pays the premium. Or it can be the other way around. Wife gets the coverage, husband pays the premium. It's almost like an alimony thing, but instead of that, he's paying health insurance. Or it could be part of a spousal support obligation. Some of that money earmarked toward the coverage. Another thing that you may find is that depending on how old the coverage is and what the policy is, it may be cheaper for the wife to go out and apply and get her own coverage than to pay the COBRA premium on continuing the coverage. So there are obviously issues that are involved in this and there are technical details regarding the health insurance. If you have any questions about the continuation of your health insurance in the context of your divorce case, reach out and of course we'll be glad to try and guide you.